to the front of the Pajero Exceed now. As you can see, a lot to talk about. As the camera zooms around, you'll see we've got the big battery here. These cars are set up to tour. Heaps of room to put extra batteries, everything you need in here. But the main thing to talk about here is a 3.2 litre common rail direct inject intercooled turbo diesel. Now what all of those words mean is 147 kilowatts of power, 441 newton meters of torque. Now that is going to give you on average 9.1 litres to the 100. Out of a 88 litre tank, you are going to get in excess of 970 kilometres of average driving range. A couple of things to note, due to the magic of video editing, we're now at the back of the Pajero. Now we've talked about the towing, three tonne tow rating here. We do have reverse sensors across the back. And if my camera inducts a little bit, up here, little reversing camera as well. Makes lining that trailer up really, really easy. Now, you're going to get a little bit of a tour of Berwick Mitsubishi used cars because my camera is going to have to look behind him. With this car, we do have a set of Exceed floor mats for the first and second row. Now, as my camera spins back around to me, I'm going to open the big door. It opens the normal way, unlike my Toyota that opens the wrong way and you can never load shopping into it. We've got a few things to talk about in here. First of which, remember when I was outside saying you can fit roof racks to your car? We've got a set of genuine Pajero roof racks for this car. So really nice to see that as well. Let's pop them out of our way. Previous owner has looked after this car, presents really well, and you know where they've looked after it when they've got the carpet mat. Now having this is, I'm gonna guess the rear seats have had barely any use either. So if we just roll that up, fold him forward, fold him forward, pop him just down out here out of our way, you'll see we've got 12 volt sockets everywhere. We've got cargo hooks, we've got every sort of thing you need on this vehicle. Over here, it's even got the delivery sticker. That's meant to be chrome underneath that blue sticker. Rockford Fosgate subwoofer. We'll talk about that in a minute. Under here though, in the Pajeros, there's a little secret. You have a third row seat. Quite simple to pop out. Just pop it up like that. Now the headrests are under there, so when the seat's up, you do gain quite a lot of storage there as well. Don't mind me going through the camera a bit there. Flip that up, you've got your third row seating and heaps of space under there. Also, two little clips, and if you're not going to ever use these, two clips, pull them out and you gain even more storage. I might just pop this in here. You're getting a little bit of highlight of everything today. There we go. All good. Now, before we disappear, I want Cameron to look at the roof. In the roof of the Pajero Exceed, do have a great option for rear seat passengers. We do have rear air conditioning. So many SUVs, the people in the back here have no sort of air conditioning. Clear view of the nice DVD player we're going to talk about in a minute. And a little highlight on the Pajero Exceed I like is you can actually pop out the rear windows as well. So everyone's right, in comfort Inside the Pajero Exceed now, I probably should put the remote down and stop playing with the DVD player. All right, resuming video, we have Great condition interior. These cars are set up to tour and they do it brilliantly. Comfortable seat. You have electric front seats here, both in adjust forward, back, up, down, tilt, the lot. We'll start the video here on the steering wheel. Nice wood grain steering wheel, make it nice to drive actually. Nice leather strap steering wheel. Some very minor marks just at the top of the leather there. Unmarked in the center airbag part here. We have cruise control on the right, Bluetooth phone on the bottom, and media controls for our Rockford system on the right. Coming across into the right now, we have four-door power, sorry, power windows, obviously. And we also have two buttons here so I can trap my camera in inside the car. I can lock the windows and I can lock the doors as well. If you're driving through a bad suburb, locking the doors is probably a good idea. Behind here, we have our mirror controls. Trick with a Pajero, if you click the key three times on lock, the mirrors fold in, three times unlock, mirrors fold out, or you can just hit that button once, mirrors fold in. Big thing to note with the Pajero mirrors, they're big, nice and easy to drive, no blind spots at all. Front, front fog light and rear fog light if you feel like being high beamed a lot. Up here we have our headlight controls, automatic as you'd expect, but if you want to drive through the rain or something, you probably want to turn them on. HID low beams here as well. Little button there to wash the front headlights as well. Bring the steering wheel back across. Nice, simple, easy to read speedo and taco. 110 kilometers, nice straight up and down, nice and easy to live with. Big dial in the middle here tells you with color and pictures what drive mode you're in. Most of the time you're gonna be in too high, but if you change it through the different four drive modes, it does indicate it there. Car currently showing 96,796 kilometers on the clock at the moment. Moving across into the left a little bit, we have automatic wipers for the front and rear wiper, of course, you can manually work there, making driving very nice in the wet so you can see what's behind you. 
we're going to go this way, and then we're going to go up, 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 up. Up here we have a, hello, electrochromatic mirror. Gone are the days where you have to flick the switch. Someone with bright headlights is behind you. It will turn dim down. If they go away or you pull away from them, brightens back up again. Little buttons here to turn the lights on, of course. Microphone there for the phone. Now I'm going to get my camera and lean on back. We have the DVD unit. Now one thing, we've all got kids here, we all know the trials with the DVD unit. Keeps the kiddies nice and quiet, really great device, but quite often when you have it folded down, you can't see anything behind you. Units folded down, doesn't obscure my rear vision at all, so the best of both worlds. Coming back to the front now, my camera's actually lying down. You gotta sit up, Matt, come on. Up to the front now, we've got our trip computer here, showing outside temperature a nice 23 degrees. It's beach weather for me. The other mark would say it's freezing. Hit information, you can go through all of the stats. Barometer, you can turn it off completely if you want to as well. Coming down from there, we've got Mitsubishi's MMCS system with Rockford acoustic design. What that means is the speakers have been upgraded, the subwoofer in the back gives you that nice punch, great audio system. Navigation screen currently showing our super secret location at 20-32 Kangan Drive here in Berwick. Oh, I let that one out. Anyway, moving on, hit menu here. We have a menu for all of our settings with the route, or you can go audio over there, and you've got all of your settings there. But this one here, if I hit that one again, no, I don't want... It's going to argue with me. Okay, we'll move on. Going down from there, we have our air conditioning set up. We've got how much fan we want. It's almost on max, as you can see, and you can barely hear it. Temperature where you want it as well. And as I mentioned before, you do have rear air conditioning in this car as well, so everyone doesn't bake. Move the shifter out of the way. We've got a little nook here for things and business cards, if you're so inclined. Also, a little nook there, hiding a 12-volt socket. Moving over to the left... A great feature, if you wake up with a sore back or something like that, having heated seats in the morning will just change your life. A great feature. Now, if you're an off-road enthusiast, this button here will mean that all the people spinning wheels and not getting through, through obstacles or up tracks, you hit this button, put it in four low lock center, you will just idle walk past them. It is a great button to have. Rear diff lock. Moving the shifter back up into park. Actually, I'll stop at reverse because we get a camera. As I mentioned before, you can just see the tow bar there under the S, so it makes lining up your trailer really, really easy. Pop it into park because my camera doesn't like it when I drive off while we're doing the videos. Nice wood grain surround around the center console here. As I mentioned before, we have our four-wheel drive system. Too high, we're going to leave it most of the time. Four high if it's getting a bit slippery out there. Four high locked center probably going to be using that in dirt roads or, or tracks. Four low locked center, that's when you're getting a little bit rough in the, and rugged. You can engage that, put it in D or first, and you can crawl past any obstacle, especially with the all-terrain tires in this car. A great, great feature to have. Little nook here for, well, you can put your remote there or your phone, DVD remote. Two cup holders, nice and easy. Little button here, armrest, great feature. As I said, made for touring. Lift that up. You've got a carpeted coin tray, so the coins you put here will live the life of luxury. Fold that down. We've got a massive, massive little cargo space there. Not carpeted, so not as much luxury for your coins, but they do have a power thing. So you can give them a light, so your coins can have luxury in the form of light as well. Going to get my camera to zoom around the interior now, and you'll notice leather trim, black leather in this car. Really, really good condition. No signs of marks on any of the door handles or anything like that. Rear seats present brilliantly. I can't see dents from child seats or anything like that in the back either. Well, I almost forgot, my camera's just pointed it to me. This is the rear air conditioning controls. Now, if I turn that off, I can actually isolate the rear, rear air conditioning so the kiddies can't play with that either, making it nice and easy, or you can let them have some control and freedom. Get my cameraman to zoom around a little bit. You will notice air conditioning vents in the roof and the DVD unit we were talking about before. While he comes back, Back to me, I'm just going to jump into the service books. All right, we're going to jump into the service books here. Good thing is, it was a private owner car. It's not owned by the German lady named Hertz. Coming down to, through to the service books, it's a bit of a long book for the Mitsubishis. Hang on. Here we go. Look at that silence in the video. Look out. All right, we've had our first service done at Mitsubishi by the looks of it. Warrigal Mitsubishi, Warrigal Mitsubishi. Druin, which is just down the road from Warrigal. Druin again. 
uh, Druin again, and then by us only just before we film this video. At this service here, they do a standard oil and filter service, 125 point safety check, replacing anything that is needed and of course a full roadworthy certificate so this car is ready to go so with condition outside condition inside all of the features and really great books the story is just getting Thank better you for watching better this video time. walk around tour of our 2011 pajero exceed as you've seen amazing condition on the outside i can't even find a nick or a scratch on any of the wheels or the bodywork presents brilliantly interior it's got all the features and luxury comforts you'd want and those service books. The story is getting better and better with this one. Be very quick, do give us a call, 9907-0555. But before you go, don't forget to ask your salesperson about a five year mechanical protection plan for this car with exceptional coverage, which we now include an extra five years of roadside assist with as well. Thank Hello you for watching. Hello and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mark Hoffman. Today I'm gonna to be taking you around our stunning 2011 Mitsubishi Pajero Exceed. As you can see from the advert, you are going to stand out in the car like this. First thing that jumps out at you is the bull bar. Have a factory fitted alloy bull bar on the car. Good thing about factory fitted, they do give you the, the bars across the top, which means light doesn't bounce back at you. Fits nicely. Do have a space here if you wanted to fit a light bar or driving lights. Mentioning lights, we do have HID low beams in this car in the nice little projector there. Being the factory bar, you still get the headlight washers fitted as you'd expect. Coming around to the side of the car, but before we do, my camera is just pointed at me. I forgot to mention something. Not a single stone chip, nick, or anything on the front guards or bonnet of this car presents amazingly. The weather today doesn't really show off the pearl white color, but in the sun, this color just pops out at you. Now we'll talk about the first of the many wheels on this car. Front driver's wheel, alloy wheel unmarked there, can't find a nick on it, and a great condition all-terrain tyre there as well. I'm actually going to get hands in there. It's actually really good tread there as well. So coming down the side of the vehicle on the Exceed, you do let people know you've got the good one. You've got chrome mirrors, indicators in the mirror there, chrome strip down the door, big side bolsters on the car, chrome door handles. You've got the roof rails as well, which you can put the racks across the back, across the middle there as well. Tinted windows, front and back. The back's a little darker due to privacy glass. Coming down the side of the car, I'm struggling to find even a scratch or a nick on it. Even a fingernail mark really presents very well. Back driver's wheel now, same thing, unmarked. No signs of gutter rash on it as at all. And a great condition all-terrain tire there as well. Little mud flaps at the, down the bottom there as well at the back. Coming around to the back. Now we're gonna go into the back tailgate area in a little bit of detail in a moment. But a couple of the highlights here. We do have our tow bar here. Of course on the Pajero, you do have three ton towing here. A badge on the back, although very small, lets people know you got the good one. Coming across, we do have a road tire. It's even got the little fuzzy things on it still. So never been on the road that tire as well. The Exceed also gets you the rear high mount spoiler. Coming around to the side of the, the passenger side of the Pajero now, you'll see as the cameraman comes past, you see not a sign of shopping trolley, nick, dent, or scratch on this vehicle presents brilliantly. Rear passenger tire and wheel, no signs of gutter rash or marking at all. Great condition, all terrain tire as well. Coming down the side, I'm struggling to find a nick or a scratch. There's a tiny little nick just there, and I'm being very pedantic at this point, to be honest, on this car. To find a mark on this car, you've got to be pretty, um, pretty brutal. Nice side step there. Yet again, chrome's trim throughout. Up to the last of the wheels now. Unmarked alloy wheel at the front. Great condition all-terrain tyre there as well. So overall, the exterior of this Pajero Exceed presents absolutely brilliantly. Mm -hmm. 